The purpose of this video is to assist library staff in determining whether or not a title is already in the system for your branch and whether your branch has by chance already ordered this title for purchase. After viewing this short tutorial video, you should know how to create a gift in hand record in the Smithsonian Institution Library's Horizon Cataloging System. You should begin by searching Cirrus. Always search Staff Pack first to avoid unwanted duplicate copies. Search by title. If you find a match and do not want to add the item to the collection because it is a duplicate for your branch, stop. There is no need to continue. If you find a match and still want to add it for your branch, note the bibliographic number. In order to get the Horizon Bib record number, from the Mark view, double click on the title to open the bib screen, then click on Window above the toolbar. Select Alternate Bib Display Views. Then complete the paper gift selection processing form. Write the Horizon bib number at the top of the form. I will show you how to access this form at the end of the video. If you do not find a match for the title you have in hand, please search the Acquisitions module for an existing Purchase Request or PR. From the main menu, open the Acquisitions file. Open Purchase Request. Choose Find PR. Now type the title in the Search For field. If you find a Purchase Request, for your branch, please call Acquisitions to resolve immediately. If you do not find a match after searching both the staff pack and the purchase requests, then please complete the online gift in hand record and a paper gift selection processing form. To find the Gift in Hand work form from the main menu, open the Cataloging folder. Open Bibliographic Record and then choose Create New Bib from the pull-down menu. The Gift in Hand non-mark screen should appear. Click OK. Verify that the status in process is indicated in the upper left corner of the form. Click on the full screen button at the upper right corner to expand the form. Fill in the horizon code for your branch in lowercase. Please indicate main or ref. This field is required. This book is for Cooper Hewitt, so the collection code is CHMMAI for the main branch. Fill in the author. Enter last name, comma, first name. 
Next is the title. Again, this field is required. Do not use initial articles such as the, a, or an. Do not use articles in a foreign language if you know them. Type the title in lower case except for the first letter of the title and for proper names. Type a period at the end of the title. Fill in addition information if available and then fill in publisher place, publisher name, and date. Next, fill in series title if available. You should not fill in any other fields. You must review all information for accuracy because once the record is saved, you will not be able to make changes. Click the Save button at the bottom of the record. Your Horizon bib number is now visible along the control bar at the top of the record. Please write this new Horizon number on top of the paper gift selection processing slip. Now the record can be searched by bibliographic number as well as by title. Click the close button at the bottom of the screen. To access and complete the gift selection processing form, you will need to open Tools for the Researcher page. Click on For SIL Staff, then on Forms for Staff, and finally on Gift Selection Processing Form. Print this form out. On the form, clearly write the bib number at the top on the right. If the piece is an ad, write ad in the blank space at the top of the form and write the existing bib number. Fill in the catalog as information. Check the appropriate category, separate or serial. Next, fill in the shelf preparation special handling area if necessary. On the selection slip, there is a space for donor information. This is the only place acquisitions can retrieve donor notes. This information is crucial to correctly process donated items. At a minimum, it includes the donor name, Dr., Mr., Mrs., or Ms., the exact address, and the precise wording of the donor note that will be added to the bib record. An example would be, quote, gift of Dr. Paul Taylor, unquote. Fill in your initials and the date in the selector initials section at the bottom of the form. If any of the above information is missing or illegible, acquisitions will return the item to you for clarification. Now insert this paper slip into the book and send it to catalog management. Please send any gifts that require an acknowledgement letter directly to G&E in acquisitions with acknowledgement letter requested, written on the package. If at this point you need to delete or edit a gift in hand record, please contact catalog management. And that's all there is to it. Please contact G&E if you have any questions about this process.